when I was planning our trip, where to find quilt shops, where they would be open, where they would be near us, the most challenging of all was actually Arkansas. We weren't going very far into Arkansas, just to Texarkana. So it was a small area, but I couldn't find any quilt shops. Then I started searching for fabric stores, and I couldn't find any, especially that were on the Arkansas side, and of course we wanted it to be in Arkansas. So we ended up at Walmart. Not where I would normally shop for my fabric for a good quilt, but that's where we came. And since Walmart originated in Arkansas, it is kind of appropriate. It was a little funny, but I did actually find some fabric that was reminiscent of our trip. We were going mainly to the post office that was on the state line between Texas and Arkansas. And so I found some fabric that is little squares reminiscent of stamps. So Special Quilts in Katy, Texas is a good size shop again, nice big one. It has all those great big windows, so it's very, very bright. Lots of natural light besides just being well lit. And whether it's due to COVID or whether that's just the way they originally had set it up, the aisles are big and wide, they're far apart, so it feels extremely open. When my children were little, I used to read them a book by Bill Pete called The Caboose That Got Loose, and it was one of their favorite stories, and they would often ask to hear the story about Katie Caboose. We came to Katie, Texas because we found out that there's a railroad museum, and they do have a caboose from the Katie line, so we just had to come and visit and see the real Katie Caboose. My daughter's youngest name also happens to be Katie, so that makes it even doubly important. Now the funny thing is, I came into the shop knowing what I wanted to find. I was specifically looking for fabric that would have something having to do with the train because of Katie Caboose. Whether it had little cabooses or railroad crossing signs or something that looked like train tracks. I figured I'd be able to find something, and this is a big shop, so I really expected there would be something, but the only couple things I could find, I just really didn't like the color or something about them, and so I wasn't finding anything. I was stymied for a while, but then I came across another fabric. Now, another thing about my daughter, Katie, is she had been in North Carolina at one point and we had gone to visit her. And while we were visiting her, we had gone to the coast and we had spent the afternoon looking for rocks and shells and shark's teeth. I've never looked for shark's teeth or ever found shark's teeth before, but that afternoon we found a little handful of shark's teeth. It was a very memorable day. And when we get to the end of this, you'll see that the fabric that I found actually has shark's teeth on it. So it's a stretch, but shark's teeth reminds me of my daughter, Katie. Katie can remind me of Katie, Texas. This was a great shop and I really liked it. Again, big open and airy, lots of machines, a good selection of fabric, lots of thread, friendly, nice people. So much fun going into these shops all around the country and meeting all the people. I love that little quilt that's on the wall. I don't think I've seen that anywhere else. That one will be on my someday list.
I think a quilt like that shows that it doesn't have to be complicated to be beautiful. Beautiful quilting. And there we go. There's the fabric with the shark's teeth on it to remind me of Katy, Texas. taking up where we had left off I've been continuing to work on my grandson Ethan's truck and trailer that he drew for me I've got them applique down I did decide to use buttons for the wheels and tires because the pieces that he drew were so little I thought it probably wouldn't be a lot of fun to try to applique those little bitty pieces on so I got out my button box and I chose a couple buttons Different sizes, of course, because they were not the same size. And sewed them on. It's been so much fun working on blocks that they drew, just bringing them to life. They may always be some of my favorite things to do. I realized that I've shown this block before, but I'd never quite finished it. I had all of the applique done except for the little moon. And I thought it was about time I finally get around to finishing that. I had to finish the moon and I have some embroidery that needed to be done on it. And it's much nicer to just get it done and be able to say, look, I finished this block as opposed to being almost done. It's always funny how you can get your seam allowance trimmed down to where you think you want it and then as you're sewing the little piece you realize that it's skinny enough you probably want to make your seam allowance just a little bit thinner. And then again, working on the embroidery. It's just a little bit, but it does really bring it to life. Speaking of almost done, I still have to figure out what I'm doing for the center of that Mariner's Compass. And you may notice that my Walmart fabric that I made so much fun of worked perfect for the background for that. So I'm really glad I got it. <laughs> <laughs> 